If you own a lot of black and white photographs that you wish were in colour, then this tutorial you're going to love because it is possible to take a black and white photograph and turn it into a colour photograph using a couple of simple techniques. So the first thing essentially we need to do is actually open up our black and white image. Now you'll notice with this particular image that if I go to image mode that it's currently in grayscale. So if your images are currently in grayscale, which is a black and white mode for uh, images, which means they won't actually display color, we need to change them over to RGB in, it, in order to actually add color to our images. Because grayscale, as I said, won't actually display color. So the first thing we need to do if our images are actually in grayscale is convert them to RGB color. So I'm going to click on that and that will automatically convert our image to RGB using our default uh, color working space that's set in our color settings. Now once we've done that we need to add a new layer to this image. So we go up to layer and we go new layer. Now what you want to do when you're actually creating this layer is actually set the blending mode here. So change it from normal and actually set it to color. Now the reason we're doing that is because we're going to add color to this specific layer and we only want it to uh, actually display color over our image. So we're going to go ahead and just click OK. So now that we have this new layer, we need to focus on actually picking some colors that we actually want to replace our black and white image with. So what I'm going to do is start off with a skin tone color. So I'm going to go and randomly sort of pick a skin tone color that I think will suit this couple. Now skin tones can be extremely hard to sort of get right so don't be too fussed when you first start out choosing a color because we can change it and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I think that's a fairly reasonable skin tone. It may not look great at first but we're going to actually just experiment and see how we go. So I'm going to click on that. So essentially with this new layer we're going to paint over it with a specific color. Now, don't worry too much at first if you go outside the lines or you miss areas. Uh, this is just to sort of get an idea. Now if you remember in a previous sub-module on the selections and layer masks there are multiple different ways and options of creating really detailed selections but for this particular tutorial I'm going to show you the easiest way I know how. Uh, in order to keep the tutorial sort of condensed, but also to show you the quickest way of going about converting your black and white image to color. So essentially we're going to go choose a, um, a paintbrush up here. And as you've probably seen already, you can choose a specific um, brush size. And in this case, I'm going to leave it set to where it's sort of roughly at. And I'm going to paint on this specific layer that we've set to the color as the blending mode just over the skin tones. Now you don't need to be too specific at this point in time because we can actually focus um, on creating layer masks later on in order to sort of um, remove some of the some of the areas that you've actually gone over that you've sort of um, haven't done a fantastic job on actually staying in the lines. It's a bit like coloring in a little child's uh, coloring in book. So. Yeah, so basically just go over the areas that you believe should be that particular color. Now I'm obviously avoiding the eyes here because I like to keep them white. Now one thing I will tell you with the color blending mode is that it will not actually paint over pure white. Um, so if you have pure white in your image, you will notice that it won't actually paint over pure white. Uh, there's no pure white in this particular image, so it's a little bit hard to show you unless of course I just quickly go here and we'll actually, yeah, we'll just duplicate this background layer for this demonstration. And I'm just going to go in here and make some really extreme uh, levels adjustments. So we'll set, we'll set a white. So just there, all the faces are blown out. So you'll notice now, just going back to this um, layer here, if that all of the um, blown out areas won't actually display that skin tone color that I've been painting over. So in order to actually get around that, if you do have pure white in your image, not necessarily in a skin tone, but another particular area of your image, what you need to do is essentially create a, a new layer and go and try out um, multiply. 
because multiply will allow you to actually paint over um, white areas which you may encounter and you may actually want so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to quickly remove this layer oh, this layer and this layer and we'll get back to actually converting this image into color so I've roughly got sort of her face colored in I'm going to color in a bit of her neck like so so that's that's not too bad now I'll just quickly go over his face as well I'm quite happy actually with the skin tone. Skin tone is not, not, not too bad considering it's just the, the first sort of hue that I've picked out. Now if you have issues when you first sort of choose your colors and they don't quite look right when you actually start to apply them on face, don't worry because it's actually easier once you actually get the colors on to the photos to actually change them um, because you can actually see the visual representation of what you're actually working with as opposed to just choosing a, a random color. So the way to do that is if I want to change this particular um, sort of skin tone color that I've got here is to actually go to image adjustments and go to hue and saturation make sure you're applying it to make sure you're actually applying it to that layer and what we'll do once we actually get that is actually just adjust the hue so you can adjust the hue in any direction that you want to get sort of a, a skin tone or a color that looks sort of close to what you're actually trying to achieve so that's probably a little bit too cold it's not too bad I might just go back a little bit so about there that's that's not too bad for a sort of a skin tone color and basically the process is to continue to add new layers and basically add a color blending mode to each layer um, that is of course if it's not for white uh, and then continue to actually choose the specific colors that you actually want to uh, include in the image and then as you slowly begin to sort of work up the um, work up the image with each layer of color you'll start to see uh, whether you sort of uh, getting to a stage where you're happy with the types of colors that you're, you're after and the types of colors that really suit the type of photograph that you're working with now this color isn't quite right it's really quite vivid and purple and if, if you've ever seen the old photographs they're sort of nice and warm and they have some very soft pinks in them with some of the color photographs so I think I'd like to try and actually reproduce that type of effect so what I'm going to do once again is I've chosen you know I haven't got the perfect color from the start but I'm going to go back into my hue and saturation and I'm just going to adjust till I get a color that's slightly warmer like this one that looks a little bit more natural so I'm quite happy with that now also once you actually adjust a color like that you need to make sure that you change the color in the color palette so to do that all you need to do is basically hold down with your alt key on um, a PC or your option key on a Mac and actually go and select the color area for um, that particular layer and that'll actually change the values over here for you and you'll notice if I just turn off these you'll see this is the value that you sort of want to achieve um, because the original value wasn't quite the right color so just by going through and actually adjusting that now I've got a color that's a little bit better suited to what I'm actually trying to um, it's something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with now obviously this scarf here is going to be slightly different so we might choose to add maybe a slightly darker scarf maybe perhaps on a new layer so what I might do is just quickly add a new layer change the color blending mode once again and just start to paint over that now that's <laughs> that's quite terrible but having said that we shall go back into and adjust you know you can use any of the adjustment filters essentially to adjust how these colors are actually coming out but just by making a slight adjustment there I've got a relatively nice color now obviously we need to do the lips and the eyes and the hair as well and sort of continue to work our way around the entire image so I'm just going to keep going uh, just to see how far, how close I can sort of get this in a relatively short period of time so now I want sort of a warm background color something something like that perhaps maybe slightly whoops didn't set the blending mode so you've got to make sure you do that 
just quickly go around the outside of this sort of backdrop here. Now I'm really not focusing on sort of being accurate with my um, painting, but you can when you actually start to work it. Um, you know, focus on getting around the lines, but just remember that you can always create a layer mask in order to improve and refine your selection at a later date. So that's not too bad at this stage. The image is looking not too bad considering that I'm doing this relatively quickly and it's, you know, I'm just sort of picking um, random colors that I think will sort of suit this particular image. Um, now that color itself is probably a little bit on the, a uh, little bit on the yellow side. Might just knock that back, maybe lighten it off, reduce a bit of the saturation, something like that. So that's looking quite good. So as you can see, it's it's not very difficult to turn a black and white image into a color photograph with a little bit of work and a little bit of know-how. So give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, especially if you have a Stylist or Wacom tablet, because that actually makes the whole process a lot easier because you can actually use a pen to paint everything in as opposed to using a mouse.